So what do you do if you need some additional money or something to fix up a house that you take over sub two? Well, uh, you know, you can, of course you can get that with a private lender. You can use your own money to do it, depending on how much it is. Um, uh, you'll probably get it back from your, your buyer's down payment. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people ask me, can you get a second mortgage or a HELOC on a house that you own sub two? And the answer is maybe. Uh, normally, I'm going to say no, you can't. Most banks have a problem. Uh, with you taking out a mortgage against a property that someone else has the first on. Now, if you have a special relationship with that bank, maybe uh, you're a long-term customer, uh, maybe something a little bit out of the ordinary with commercial lenders uh, at the bank or something, you know, sometimes they have a special program that they can do with certain people. Uh, in that case, can you take out a HELOC uh, against that property? Maybe. Uh, I wouldn't count on being able to do that, though. Now, as far as a second mortgage, I would say, unless it's private uh, and you're just borrowing money from an individual, your chances of getting commercial second loan against the property you took subject to is almost zero. Now, you'll probably have some people out there that say, well, I've done it before. And well, maybe they had some special circumstances or I mean, my goodness, you know, what, what's what's the saying about, you know, even a blind hog finds an acorn every now and then. So. Uh, can it happen? Well, maybe, but I would say that's not something that I would really count on uh, to be able to get additional money from a sub two deal. Hey guys, thanks for watching. While you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out these other great videos and podcast episodes.